Watch closely. You're about to witness a crime. Try to guess the type of crime it is. Littering? No, we're in a private corporate office, not on a public street. Besides, it's just a USB charging cable, not trash. Theft? Not if the executive tries to return the cable to his owner. Now, would it be a crime if the executive brought the cable back to his office, charged his smartphone, or plugged it into his computer? You're probably saying no, and you'd be right. But what if he tosses the cable into his desk drawer, or brings it home for his child to use? Well, still probably not a crime. In this company, there's so many USB charging cables laying around, they're practically considered communal property. So what if the person doesn't drop the cable on the floor, but instead exchanges his cable for one that's already plugged in on some executive's desk? Now, can you guess the crime? The crime is actually corporate espionage. We call it Spy Trick 2150. It's a USB cable hack. It's a spy technique of which very few people are aware. You might call it the killer cable from hackerspace. USB spy cables look identical to normal USB charging and data cables. They work like this. As soon as they're plugged into a smartphone, laptop, tablet, or other computer device, they deploy spyware or a virus. The attached device now has two owners, the user and the cyber spy. In addition to retrieving all the information in the attached device and monitoring all communications, these spy cables can also inject false data. Now imagine how that could really screw up a payroll spreadsheet. Have you guessed which one is the spy cable? Probably not. They all look like legitimate USB cables. Almost. Hey, see the tiny black mark on the cable number three? We put that mark there because we can't tell by looking either. Spy cables are a relatively new invention. The National Security Agency had them in their Black Bag of Tricks catalog in 2008. They were very expensive back then. It didn't take long, however, for the secret to leak out, and a handmade spy cable was demonstrated at a hacker convention. Well, the commercial possibilities were immediately understood, and it was off to China to start mass production. To paraphrase one internet spy cable seller, the cable looks and feels exactly like the cable your target already has in their possession. Power and capabilities extensive, and you ain't going to need no million dollar budget. They go on to say, This cable is packed with a web server, an 802.11 radio, that's Wi-Fi, and more processing power and memory than any of those demo spy cables you've been looking at. And they're not shy about saying, It's built for covert field use. It has features that enhance remote execution, stealth, and forensics evasion. The forensics evasion part means it self-destructs when it's discovered. And of course, it works just like any normal USB cable when not deploying its payloads. Bonus, some versions also do keystroke logging. USB spy cables are available in many different configurations. Some have additional tricks up their sleeves, like audio eavesdropping with GPS tracking, and some are just made for video spying. Oh, the cost? Hmm. USB spy cables are now available on the internet for about $6 to $160, depending on the type of cable and who's selling them. Now you know the nature of the crime. It's corporate espionage. This young employee has been paid to drop or replace three spy cables per week in selected areas in his employer's office building or by certain cars in the parking lot. Eventually, anybody who's anybody there will be using a spy cable. The kid hasn't been told why he is doing this, but what does he care? He gets $250 a week in Bitcoin transferred to him for every cable he deploys. So, how can you protect yourself? The most easily recognized USB spy cables connect to their spies via the cellular phone system. They have a broader head than normal cables. They're wider because they need a SIM card to operate. This is your first clue. 
If the head looks wider than normal, try sliding the cover off. If you are successful, you'll see a SIM card slot. If there's a SIM card in there, you've probably discovered a crime. Treat the cable as evidence and contact someone with forensic electronics experience who can help you. This would be a police department detective unit, private investigator, or cyber forensic expert. Traditional USB spy cables look like normal cables, but as in the H.G. Wells story, War of the Worlds, this invader has an Achilles heel. Electronic circuits generate heat. Our spy Martian is no different. When plugged in and operating, the USB-A side of the cable measures between 115 degrees and 125 degrees Fahrenheit, or 46 to 52 degrees Celsius. If your fingers are sensitive enough, you may be able to feel the warmth. When we conduct our corporate technical information security inspections, also called technical surveillance countermeasures inspections, or simply TSCM, we can spot a spy cable from across the room using our infrared thermal camera. Let's test the normal cable first. Now let's test the spy cable. See the difference? The end of the spy cable in the charger is white. White represents heat. The regular cable was more uniform in color. Let's look at that again. We also developed a detection technique which our clients can use in between our visits to inspect their locations for electronic surveillance and other information loss vulnerabilities. This technique involves measuring the voltage and current characteristics of the USB cables. Here we are testing a normal cable. The voltage is about 5 volts. The amount of current being used by the cable is 0 milliamps. Perfectly normal, the cable itself is not using any energy. If we plug the cable into a phone or computer, the current would increase because the object attached to the cable would be using the electricity. Our next test reveals we have a spy cable on our hands. The voltage remains the same, but the current now being measured is at several milliamps. Since the cable is only attached to the USB charging cube and nothing else, there must be an electronic circuit inside the cable which is using some electricity. Sometimes, corporate espionage spies use corporate spy espionage trick 2151. We call it the free lunch. This trick involves rigging a public USB charging station, as you'd see in an airport, or a USB charging outlet, as you might see in your hotel room desk or clock radio. The spyware payload is located behind the USB port. The instant your device is attached, the spyware goes to work. This data suction technique, also known as juice jacking, works because all four wires in the USB cable are connected to the charger and your device. Two of the wires are used to transfer voltage. The other two carry your data. Once you know this, the solution is obvious. The data wires do not need to be connected in order to charge your device. You only need the plus and minus voltage leads to recharge. You can attach a small adapter to the USB cable, which only allows the voltage leads to connect. This device is called the data blocker. Just do an internet search, and you'll find plenty of places to buy one. We also provided a link in the description below. Cable blockers usually sell in two packs for between $6 and $12 per pack. We provide the one you see here to our corporate clients free of charge. This is the USB spy cable detection kit we give to our corporate TSCM inspection clients. It includes our voltage and current meter, a USB-C to USB-A adapter, and our data spy blocker. These are packaged in a handy travel bag with room to spare for a USB charger, cables, and other necessities. You can build your own kit at little cost. Links to everything are in the section below. 
Please visit counterespionage.com for more videos like this one, over 50 free security white papers, and information about corporate TSEM inspections. It's all free and there's no need to provide any of your information. After all, we are in the privacy business. 2150 and 2151 are only two corporate espionage spy tricks. There are hundreds more that you don't even know about and probably never will. That's because espionage rule number one is stay invisible. If you'd like to keep your business information and conversation secure now and in the future, no matter what methods are being used against you, do what the other Fortune 500 companies do. They use our inspection services. It's cheap insurance. No, it's better than insurance. TSCM inspections can prevent the theft. Learn more at counterespionage.com. Murray Associates is headquartered in the New York metropolitan area. The Murray Associates team can assist you quickly anywhere in the United States and internationally. Thank you for your time and attention.